In this video, we're going to learn how to complete a work task that has been assigned to you. Everything from entering your resolution comments, posting your time, adding any potential documents to the work task, and finally marking the work task as completed. So to do this, we're going to come up to the very top of our home page under the tasks bar and go over to my tasks on the left hand side here and click that. And this is going to show me any of my tasks that are active and this is the one that I'm going to be working on. So I've already done the work on this and at this point I just need to put the data in here and mark it as complete. So under work task info the first thing I want to do in the top tab here I'm going to put in my resolution description. So DCR engineering, paved lot, roads, seated shoulders, line stripping painting, great job. So I put the resolution comments in there and next I have to put my time entry into here. So I have to document how much time I put into it. So the date I worked on it was May 1st and I actually put in four hours to the project. Once I've put my date and my time, I'm going to come all the way to the right hand side here and click post time. You have to click post time in order to get it to put through. And once I do that, the time comes down here under the time log. You cannot close out and complete a work task until time has been posted and until information has been put into the resolution description. So now that I have my resolution description entered and I have my time into it, I can now come back up to notes and documentations. And this is where I can enter any documents that I might have to add to this. So now under the notes and documents section, I'm going to come down to related documents. I'm going to come all the way to the right and I'm going to click the upload button. So what this is going to do, is going to now give me the opportunity to drag and drop files so I can pull them right from a folder and drag them into here. Or I can go select multiple files for upload or I can do a single upload. Either way what's going to happen is it's going to open up a window and you're going to basically going to select the files the same way you would any other document. So I'm just going to pick something here, sample upload, double click it, it comes in here. Once it's all done, I click submit. The submit button, it now actually that document becomes a part of this work task. You can upload as many documents as you need to that are relevant to the work task. So now that I have my work task info input, my resolution description, I put my time in. I come over to my notes and documents. I've uploaded all my documents that needed to be in here. I am complete and I need to mark this document as complete. So I come up to the top right hand side and just mark complete. Now technically all this does is mark the document, mark the work task as complete. It will not close the document. That's actually an extra step that needs to be done by whoever's approved to do that. In closing, I just wanted to point out that at any point during your work task, if something comes up and you have to actually put the work task on hold, you can do that electronically by coming up top here on the right to the hold button. There are four different selections. You can hold for a permit, if you're waiting for a permit, or if you're waiting for a quote or for some parts, or if the requester decided they wanted it to put it on hold for some reason. So basically you would select whichever one you'd want and it would put that particular one on hold and as you can see it says that you can resume it here. Now this will show up in your work tasks and it will actually say on hold for whatever reason you chose. Once you've uh, the, the part came in or once the request has been done or the quote has come in and you want to resume it simply click the resume button up top here it goes back to an active work task.